Hey guys, let's talk about the division in King Sulfite. Now, this division uh, belongs to the kingdom Plantae. Now, these plants are the genocent. Genocent means that uh, they are non flowering plants. They are non flowering plants, but seed bearing plants. They have vascular tissues. They have woody plants, majority being evergreen trees. And a few of the varieties of these are shrubs. You see the general characteristics. Uh, there are general characteristics of the members found in this division that the first one that they have secondary growth whose uh, thickening can be observed in a cross section of a stem, uh, revealing annual rings. The secondary growth is the result of the growth in lateral meristems, which are vascular carimbrum and the carimbrum. So this is the first general characteristics of the division of the fighter. The other one is that most of the members of these live in cool climates where they form uh, evergreen forests, which they keep their leaves year round. This means that the leaves stay for the whole year. The other one is that they have a large amount of inter, inter no, no elongations, which allows them to grow faster than the other plants, uh, they are a xeromorphic, which means that the characteristics that help to protect them from excessive loss of water and therefore ability to survive in extreme habitats. Uh, most of these are large trees, which are shrubs and the other are small plants. Now, uh, most also have hard bugs, which protect uh, their inner soft body. The distinctive features is that uh, they are non flowering but uh, seed producing plants. Uh, they have uh, seeds uh, born in cone C shaped structures uh, rather than uh, in fruits. They are genophems, which uh, mean they are naked seed plants because uh, they produce seeds in a cones rather than in, inside an embryo. The leaves are needle shaped and they uh, have a thick particle for the protection of the leaves decrease the water loss. Let's see the structure of the pines. Uh, if I just feel the features or parts of the pines, the first one that the stem, uh, the back of most pines is thick and scary, but uh, most or some species of thin freaking bark. Now the branches are produced in a, in a ring like branches arising from the same point. The other part are the leaves. Uh, the procession of the pine stem has uh, several uh, concentric links with the distinct borders between each ring. Now, the center of the ring is called the pith. Uh, these links are called annual links because uh, they grow seasonally and uh, they help the plant to undergo the secondary thickening. Generally, these are uh, adult pines have uh, needle shaped leaves which are green and the photothentic. This means that it enables the process of photosynthesis. Uh, and the leaves are in bundles or clusters. The other part is the cones. The cones are uh, the organ of plants that it contains the reproductive structures. The old cone is the female cone which produces the seeds, and the female cones which produces pollen are usually uh, bacillus and the much less conspirus. So that's the uh, diagram of the pine. That's how pines look like. You see the advantages of these, uh, the co of these conifers. Conifers. Conifers are very important economically because of their soft wood, uh, which is used for paper and timber, as as well as the seed, which many people use for their homes because of its beauty and resistance to insects. Also, they have a large economic use as softwood in furniture, and in the temperature and tropical regions, they are fast growing softwoods that will allow harvesting in cross in cross succession. The other advantage that they are used in decoration and ceremony, since many pine species make attractive ornamentals, they are planted in parks and the larger gardens. Uh, most of the varieties are suitable for the smaller species. Also, these plants are used commercially for growing and harvested for the uh, Christmas trees. Uh, 
Uh, the other advantage is that yeah, I use it as medicines. Uh, plants in the cypress are uh, rich in vitamin. Their branches constantly always can be extracted and used as in nutrient supplements. The last one that is the other higher plants as other higher plants conifers also are used as source of heat energy. Uh, used as a fire twenty charcoal. So that's all for this session. We've talked about the, the this division of the four fighter. Uh, members found in this division their general characteristics and their distinctive features, and we've seen the structure of the clients and the advantages and disadvantages of all conifers. Thank you.